Hi, I'm Dennis Phillips, and welcome to Everyday Reloading and Shooting. As those of you who watch my videos know, lately I've been doing load testing, and when I measure, I measure not just by group size, but by something called mean radius. And uh, some of you have commented on that, how that's a uh, more accurate, a better system. And I've gotten a request to talk a little bit more about this and explain what it is. There's a picture here that gives you a representation of mean radius. And so what a mean radius is, is the average distance of each shot's radius from the center of the average of the group. So you see here a photo where you've got a center circle and you've got a point in the middle where those come together. And that's an average of where all of those shots impact is that center point. And around that, there's a radius or a distance from that center point to each shot. So here, unlike uh, just measuring extreme spread, that uses two data points. That shows you the distance of the two furthest shots apart, and that's all you know. But with mean radius, the thing about that is every additional shot gives you an additional data point that gets measured by. So let's get to this and let's talk about how we do that. Now, the best way, in my opinion, to measure mean radius and the simplest and easiest way is with the Hornady 4 DOF Ballistics app. And there's a tab in there that you click on for group analysis and it measures all of the shots and it uh, uses a standard to measure by and it comes up. And, and here's an example right here, but it measures the distance of each one of those shots to the center of that group, to the average center of that group. And then it gives you not only an extreme spread, but also a mean radius. So how we calculate a mean radius, if you were to do this manually, what you would do is you would need a ruler and something that gives you a very straight edge, maybe a T-square. But let's just do this group here first we're going to have a zero right here by drawing a line through the lowest shot on the group. And then we're going to have another zero. That's our vertical zero. Our horizontal zero is going to be right here because that's the furthest most shot to the left. And so then we're going to measure the vertical distance to each. from the center of the group to zero. We're going to measure that. I have to turn this around because of the T-square. And then here, we're going to measure the horizontal distance of each bullet from zero. And you measure from the center of the bullet. Now this is a two inch diameter circle, so assume that you're shooting at 200 yards. So, horizontally, these are all done in random order. The first, second, and third really don't matter. So this is 0 .63, 0 .63. This is zero, so it doesn't get measured. We're going to round this to the nearest hundred. So this is 1.48. This is 
and this is 0.32. Now we're going to take all of these 0.63 plus 1.48 plus 0.98 plus 0.32. That's 3.41. We're going to divide, oh, and this was zero. So we're going to include this. So we've got four measurements and we're going to divide that by five because there's five impacts. So that gives us an average horizontal of 0.682. So let's find that here from the bottom. Here we go. It's 0.6815. That's going to be close. So I'm going to make a mark with a tip here. And here's this line. So I'm going to mark that with a red pen. And again, that was 0.682. Now we're going to measure horizontally. All right, so we come off zero. This is 0.75. 0 0.75. 0 .75. I'm just going to draw a line under that to distinguish it from the other measurements that were taken. Okay, here. Two point one one. Two point one one. One point eight five. 1.85 and then here we've got 1.17 all right so we're going to average those we got four measurements we've got 0.75 plus 2.11 plus 1.85 plus 1.77 divided by five shots equals 1.296, so that's 1.3 inches. So we're going to go up 1.3 inches. One point three one. So I'm going to put that mark right there, and I can see that. So the average center of the group is right here. And now you're going to measure the radius to each of these holes, and you're going to average those. And lastly, 0 0.90. So, we're going to average the numbers in red, 1.32 plus 0 0.81 plus 0 0.59 plus 0 0.9 plus 0 0.91 equals 453, or 4.53 divided by 5 equals 
0.91. Okay, you're shooting at 200 yards. You've got a, a two inch target that you're shooting at. These pencil lines are light, so just pretend they're darker and you can see it. This is just academic only. So you've got five shots and you've got a 0.91 average mean radius because the average is from this point to the center of each shot. All right, so there's your average point of impact. The center of this was your point of aim, but your average point of impact is right there. So what I take from this is that if you're shooting at 200 yards and you've got a group like this and that's your average impact, you've got a pretty good chance of hitting a 2-inch target at 200 yards. With a .91 mean radius, if you double that, because a radius is half of a circle, so if you double that, you get 1.82. So your average distance at 200 yards would be 1.82, your average group size. But here, your extreme spread from here to here, so here you have an extreme spread of 2.15. So I'm going to take a black pen and say that's 2.15. From here to here. So even though your extreme spread is 2.15 inches, your mean radius is 0.91 inches, which means you're going to be pretty close to the center of that target when you're shooting most of the time. Okay, if you take a look at the picture on the left, you'll see the results of having measured these with the Hornady application. And so the measurements are a little bit different. I think right here, sometimes if you don't get this exactly precise when you're measuring, that can be off just a tiny bit and it can be a couple of hundredths of an inch difference in your measurements. But in any event, on the extreme spread, I had measured 2.15. They measured that at 2.03. And then on the mean radius, I had measured it at 0.91, and their app measures it at 0.84. So they give that a little bit better measurement than what I had calculated. Nevertheless, they're close, and when you're measuring to the hundredth of an inch, uh, in this case, um, 0.91 to 0.84, I'm seven hundredths of an inch off. So that's uh, pretty close, in my opinion. But in any event, the mean radius I measured was 0.91. They're showing that at 0.84. And a radius is half of a circle. And so if you were to double that on this, that would mean you would have one point, a 1.82 average group at 200 yards. Or if you took their measurement of 0.84 and doubled it, that gives you 1.68 inches at 100 yards. So either way, it's coming in pretty close. But I would trust the Hornady app and would definitely recommend that you use that. Okay, and if you look at the photo on your left, here's your extreme spread from here to here. And that's 2.76 inches, so almost 3 inches on the extreme spread. But when you look at the mean radius, this is 0.91, and this shows your average point of impact. Let's see, to be about right here. So even though you've got this flyer out here with more points of measurement, each one of these points is a data point. And it adds to the total. But I definitely recommend the Hornady app 
I think you'll like that. I think it'll give your groups new meaning. I think you'll make new discoveries. It'll help you with your powder charges, your primers, your bullet weights, your seating depth. It'll help you with all of that. So you asked for it and you got it. So I hope you find this helpful. So if you have any ideas or thoughts about this video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Or if there's anything that you would like to see in the future, please let me know that. I always try to interact with everyone who comments. And I hope that you will like and share this with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.